Hi all, just a very quick one here. So a lot of people have been asking questions about claiming the Dion tokens from your Uniswap. So if Dion was on your Uniswap when the snapshot happened, I'll just go through how to claim those tokens. So the first step is to back up your Uniswap wallet seed phrase. So essentially what it means by backing up your seed phrase is just taking a note of it because you will need this later on. Again, make sure you don't share this with anyone and keep it private. So as I've mentioned, your down tokens was on Uniswap when the snapshot occurred. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to go onto your Uniswap wallet and click on settings. And then after, click on recovery phrase. And this is where you'll be met with before you continue to verify that this is viewed in private. Don't share this with anyone and never enter it on any websites or applications. But in this case, we will need this for the MetaMask import. So you'll view your recovery phrase and take a note of the phrase. So for the purpose of this import, you'll need a fresh install of MetaMask. So what I would advise is to remove any MetaMask applications that you've got on your devices and install a fresh new one as you'll be importing your Uniswap phrase into MetaMask. So as you can see here, I've installed MetaMask and now I've headed to the installation page and I'll be clicking on import an existing wallet. This is where I'll enter the phrase that I recovered from my Uniswap wallet. I'll now create a new password to get into my MetaMask. Once that's complete, your MetaMask installation should all be ready to be used. So this is where you'll head over to dionprotocol.com and click on the add to MetaMask button. And then you should be able to accept the conditions. However, I've heard several people come back with some issues with delays on adding the Odyssey chain to the network using this method. However, the method that worked for me was to go to the drop down in select a network and click add a customer network. And using the details provided on the Dyn protocol website, you can click on details and bring up the network name, the RPC, the chain ID, the currency symbol and the blockchain explorer URL. So I would get all those details and pop them into this box. Once that's complete, click save and you'll see at the bottom where Dyn Protocol is now available and Odyssey Chain Network has been successfully added. And that's it. Thanks everyone.